Sebastian Eckner, um, can you introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Sebastian Eckner. I'm from Germany, a furniture designer. I'm living in Offenbach, it's close to Frankfurt, and I studied till 2007 also in, in Offenbach, so I still live there at the University of Arts and Design. And which is the relation uh, uh, with Moroso? Where did you meet Patrizia? I met her the first time 2011 at uh, Salone Satellite. I was exhibiting there for the third time and I was showing some baskets uh, made of a paper yarn and this was actually the first uh, year contact to, to her and to not to the brand, the brand of course I know already for a long time, for about 10 years <laughs> and it was always a yeah, a kind of dream to, to work for this brand when I saw it the first time in, in Cologne. And so we met uh, three years ago and developed for 2012 the first project together. Um, which is your idea of design? Yeah, the idea in general is about the function and the beauty to work with manufacturers together with craftsmen to work with interesting uh, nice materials also so uh, in the case of the Banjoli collection uh, it was really about the yeah the beauty and the colors and the craftsmen it's done in in Dakar in Senegal so it's very much related to the person themselves they doing it by hand and this is very interesting from, for my work and for my projects. Can you tell uh, something about Banjoli? Uh, it's a very strange name, Banjoli. What's yeah, it? actually it's the it's a traditional name in the Wolof uh, language from Senegal, which means uh, the translation ostrich, the bird, yeah. which is located and living in, in, in Senegal. And the inspiration for this collection starts actually with the chair. It was the, the mating dance of mm. the male birds mm. dancing for the, for the female ones. <laughs> and the interpretation was uh, yeah, the moving of, this, of the dance of the wings. Mm. Uh, you can see here in the, in the shape of the, the armrests. Sebastian Erkner, what is beauty for you? I. I think beauty is, you can find beauty in things which are handmade, manufactured by craftsmen, which are done with nice materials. And sometimes if you do something by hand, uh, you, you see a kind of imperfection in a product. There's maybe a small little mistake. And this makes a product very personal. You see that it's handmade. It could be an air bubble in a glass <laughs> vase. It could be here in the, in the weaving of the Banjoli collection. It could be a small detail, which is maybe a mistake, but it's not a, a kind of imperfection that is a defect. It's more a personal, emotional detail, which tells you the story that this product is handmade. And I think this makes the beauty for me in the design that it gets a, a personal story and a feeling to, to a product. You can see it also with, with items you, you find on your, on your travels that you see products, ceramics which are handmade, you see maybe in the ceramic in the clay a fingerprint, something like this, like in the Japanese theory, the wabi-sabi, um, to give a product another meaning and another yeah, status. Thank you.